So it's easy to see that, um, again, on, perplex on the New Testament being perplexing, it's easy to see that Gnosticism comes from Paul. Because Paul, in his speech, he speaks of a dichotomy with spirit and flesh. All sin comes from the flesh. Everything good is the spirit. Um, he's using these terms. It's obvious to see that when you read Paul, that he's using these as, you know, a dichotomy. You know, um... Like, uh, it's like saying um, the physical is bad, the heart is good. Well, the heart is part of the physical. Um, Paul was not a docetist, at least not in his letter to the Romans, because, and there's an interesting theory that uh, is out there by scholars. He wrote Galatians, and it's believed that his letter to the Galatians got him in trouble because it made him look um, like a uh, like somebody who was uh, for licentiousness you know do whatever you want it doesn't matter sinning in the flesh doesn't matter and even it's in his other works he gives the his only reason for uh, doing good deeds is to show non-christians the better life that works of the flesh are actually nothing and it's just to you know show the goodness of Christ to other people it just doesn't help you at all and his letter to the wrong he gets called basically on the carpet by the uh, clergy in Rome the council of bishops in Rome this is before there was a pope there uh, so he writes this letter that's why Romans is kind of a laying out of theology and you know basically kind of how to become a Christian and what Christianity is and this and that even though the word Christianity isn't used it's still kind of a slang term because that's how it, they got the name it was just a slang term that the Antiochians wound up calling the followers of the way followers of the way would become Christians would be called Christians so it, it, Paul's a strange type of character. And you see in some of the early church fathers, well, are they, are they Judaizers? Are they...